Okay, we promised we'd get back to you and talk about subtracting polynomials. So, to subtract polynomials, remember that subtracting is the same as adding the opposite. So, to find the opposite of this polynomial, you must write the opposite for each term in the polynomial. So, what I mean by adding the opposite, let's just say, for instance, we were looking at 200, 256 minus 17. Well, we said this would be the same thing as have something way here. 256 plus a negative 17. And then here we just add. Now notice, notice what we did here was we kept 256 the same we change the 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 subtraction to addition so that's opposite and we also change the plus 17 into a negative 17 so that's opposite as well so we should remember this same opposite opposite and we can do the same thing for these polynomials here this one set of polynomials will remain the same. Our negative, our subtraction will become positive, so it will be opposite. And then, of course, our last polynomial will become opposite. Now, this is what we mean by you must write the opposite for each term. So let's just go ahead and put it here and then you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm going to rewrite it and I'm going to come up with 2x to the third minus 3x squared plus 1. I'm not changing this. Please, please keep this in mind. I am not changing the first one. But now, I'm instead of a negative, I'm going to use a plus sign and I'm going to change every sign inside. That's a positive x squared. I'm going to change it to a negative x squared. That's a positive x. I'm going to change it to a negative x. That's a positive 1. I'm going to change it to a negative 1. Okay? Now, all I need to do is add them. And what we can do is literally we can do them either vertical or we can do them um, the horizontal method. So I am very, very, um, you know, I just love the vertical method. So I'm going to rewrite mine and use the vertical method here. So I have 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus 1. And actually, I'm going to leave a little space here because I see something that I have. I'm not necessarily. Um, that I don't have in one equation here. So I'm going to go here and since I don't have any x, I'm going to just put uh, plus 0x minus 1. Again, that's just a place field here. I'll show you exactly what I mean here when I rework it horizontal. So now I'll have no, so I have 0x to the third in the second one and I have minus x squared minus x okay yeah, that should be a plus one there sorry minus one okay and it tells me that I'm gonna add them so zero plus two just adding up the coefficients here it's gonna give me two x to the third I have a negative here both signs so I'm going to put my negative and remember this x squared with no coefficient has a coefficient of 1 so that's going to give me 1 plus 3 is 4 x squared and I'm looking here I have 1 plus 0 that's going to give me negative x and of course 0 so let's just put plus 0 
we can rewrite this as 2x to the cube minus 4x squared minus x. Okay, so that's how we do this if we were doing this uh, vertically. So let's let's quickly take a look at. I'll get this out of the way for us. Quickly take a look at how we would do, work the same problem if we did so. If we did so horizontal, the exact same problem. So the only thing we do here is since we already have this problem already constructed, same opposite opposite. Let's just go ahead and regroup and and group okay so what we will do is we will look at our 2x to the third which stays by itself so that's a positive 2x to the third let's go ahead and put it in brackets and then we have a negative 3x so let's just put plus and then we have a negative 3x squared minus x squared okay and the next thing we have is we have the 1x so let's go ahead and put plus uh, a negative x and here we have 1 plus 1 so that's plus uh, I guess we can get in here 1 minus 1 okay so now maybe we put this over yep, yep we can just a little bit so that's 1 minus 1 so now we can just combine them. Of course, there's nothing combined with 2x to the third power. And then here, here we have that negative and negative. That's going to give us a negative, a minus 4x squared. We have nothing to do to go with our x, so minus x. And of course, 1 from 1 is going to give us plus 0 we can write this again as 2x cubed minus 4x squared minus x so again both ways I think the most important thing that, that, that you guys need to realize is to know how to change we're not gonna touch the first uh, the first polynomial at all we're gonna change the sign and which is going to be so if we've subtracted it's going to be a, a, a subtraction sign we're going to change it to positive and change every sign inside of the next uh, polynomial okay uh, good luck with uh, your, your 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 adding subtracting problems um, in the textbook if you have any issues please just come back and take a look at the videos have a great